Welcome back. Today we're going to be discussing what matters to you most, which is getting calls from this area. All right. And not only getting calls from this area, but maximizing the value of your current ad spend or your ad spend that could be spent in areas that are positioning you as an authority in order to generate the call from this area. All right. So as you notice here, just in standard example, you can search this in your own area. This is, as you well know, extremely competitive and lots of calls come from this area. All right. And so what we're going to be discussing today is why really people are no different because really we have lots of choice. Who shouldn't watch this number one? Because we just don't want to waste your time. You think new patient acquisition just happens. Things are good. You're getting referrals. Everything's good. You have, you just really don't care if the practice next to you gets 200 or more calls monthly and you really have no idea where they're coming from, where your new patients are coming from, what's going on at the front desk when it comes to people calling into your practice and, and how you did that, right? And you have way too many patients anyways and your hourly ch chair time is maxed. You're good. You're surrounded by virtually no competition with a front desk that converts more patients than you have in the day. Um, you're really honestly good, right? Congrats. Okay. So you want to see the blueprint of how to consistently and predictably generate new interest in a service everyone around you with office space for rent provides. Stick around. We'll show you a few different strategies and a few different ways that this is done. Now, the idea behind all of this is, and you have to realize this, is you, you aren't guaranteed business anymore. Okay. So everybody around you and the landlords that open up new plazas and new buildings always look for an anchor tenant and that's you. And there's a reason for that. So what are you going to do to increase your patient base? What are you going to do to increase that valuation when somebody wants to come and buy you and you want to exit or you want to scale, right? Well, number one, you have to figure out the revenue you never knew you had. And that's your invisible revenue. Okay, so the invisible revenue is what we were looking at at the start, which is you have no idea if you're getting those calls and who is getting those calls instead of you, right? So the practices that we're going to be looking at today um, is Dr. Greg Olivieri in Niagara Falls, Veroche Denture Clinic, Niagara Falls, and they're partnered. Um, Dr. Chuck Lee for the uh, U.S. counterparts that are on this um, in Anaheim, and Claudia uh, Chan, at, um, the owner of Markham Dental. Um, brilliant. All of these folks, extremely brilliant. Um, and just high end entrepreneurs as well as, um, you know, dentists and dental practice owners. Right. And so, um, here's the 200 plus calls that we were talking about earlier, the practice next door didn't get, and this is the dashboard we'll be looking at today. Um, you know, and some of the examples and they're live examples online. We're going to be taking you to, to, um, to a live share in a second. Um, and really we're going to be looking at these numbers, right. And how they interact with each other. So, you know, we look at, Ad impressions. So, you know, how many times have you been out there? In in this case, we're using display um, targeted at 55 plus year olds um, that are in areas, uh, affluent neighborhoods, and areas that can afford implant cosmetic type surgery. Um, you know, in and around, say, in this case, the Toronto area and the Anaheim area. Okay, so we're going on two separate ends of, um, you know, the continent. Um, and so, if we look at this stat here, we're looking at views in Google. Um, and so, um, this, uh, stat here means, you know, how many people physically, um, went to your profile, looked at you, um, you know, and did or didn't take an action. Right. Um, and so a lot of times what we're looking for here in the, the metric that matters is the phone calls, right? So how many phone calls did you get? And some practices get 20 or 30 per month and some get 259. Right. And so this number here is showing how many people converted, how many people in that month filled out a form um, for an implant consultation or, you know, a cosmetic related consultation and filled out 13 questions. Right. Um, so that's this is the sort of dashboard we're looking at and some of the numbers we'll be looking at. So where are these coming from? Right. Well, let's let's take a look again um, at the full ecosystem. Right. So I'm in your target market. I see you. I research you, I take an action if I need help. Simple, right? So um, I am in Toronto, for instance, and I'm looking for an Italian restaurant and 
I see your restaurant and then I go to your profile and I research your restaurant, I will take an action if I need help. You need to provide options to solve my problem. So let's go here again and let's actually take us to the Toronto restaurant example. Um, so we'll go to Toronto, Toronto, Italian restaurants. Okay, so let's look at who's there. Now, you know, we see Charisma, uh, Buca, Donatello, um, you know, Figo, Anotisa, or Anot Anot yeah, Anotisa, whatever it is, right? <laughs> Italy, Toronto. Um, so a lot of these folks, now, number one, okay, if we look at the restaurant business, for instance, we take ourselves out of dental, right? Um, and we're looking at the sort of this ecosystem. Likely, again, I'm going to be looking here, like these guys have so many reviews that I know that likely they're probably going to be pretty good. A lot of these folks are pretty good. It might just come down to how far they are away from me and if I'm taking an Uber there or not, right? Um, in a lot of cases, in restaurant business especially, they're never going to get to that unicorn five star, right? Or 4.9 star, especially if they have 800 plus reviews, right? There's just, there's just too many people. So right now you're kind of looking for that person who's in that 4.7 range. So they had 2,100 reviews, 4.7. But you know what? They're in a sea of people that I have choice for. So the ecosystem for me right now is taking a look at them, seeing you know, if they have any of their menu items. Can I check their menu before I go on? You know, what do they have? Are they, are they optimized, right? Where's their menu? Can I call them right away, right? Here's their menu options, right? So I am researching the practice prior to getting there or researching, in this case, the restaurant prior to going there. And likely it's going to be someone who left some really detailed reviews with some pictures of how good it was and they look authentic. That's going to get me to call, right? So that's just sort of the back end kind of patient journey. But what happens? How do we get them here in the first place? So in dentistry, right, as you notice, it's much different on the review volume side. There's some practices that will have 800 plus reviews. Some will have the 300. Um, some will have 60, right? So... There's obviously a wide range. However, there's a lot of you. So if you're the 60 positioned up next to the 887, well, you're likely losing a lot of calls and you have no idea why. That's your invisible revenue, gone, right? So what are we looking at after you provide the options to solve my problem? Well, number one, what we just looked at is what's called zero-click search. All right. And zero click search is going to be the term that a lot of folks use over the next, you know, in the future to describe taking less actions on their, say, website or going through again to their website and taking an action directly from the results. So I'm able to take a res an action directly from a result here without having to go elsewhere. Right. So that's really important as I'm able to take an action without having to go deeper into the results, right? And so if I can go deep and get the information that I need, then I don't have to do anything else. I can understand if you're competent. I can understand if you're active on here. I can understand, you know, what you look like and, uh, you know, your pictures. Um, I can get my directions and I can click to call, right? So I really don't need much else. And so that's now responsible for close to 65% of all search, right? So you can check out this article for yourself. Um, Spark Toro um, did this graphic. Uh, Rand Fishkin is extremely popular when it comes to understanding search and search data. And, you know, highly recommended you educate yourself on zero-click search and, you know, what some of these numbers mean for you, right? And dental. Um, those are for future videos that we'll discuss, but really... Um, that's, this is a lot of money that's sitting on the table for practices, right? And they're losing that because a new practice might just open up and take that space from you, right? So you need to understand the value of being found when someone has a problem, number one, and then know that this doesn't come for free, right? This isn't 1997. So you have to work at it. You have to produce good content. You have to make sure you're properly optimized. You have to make sure you're following the foundations that Google and Bing and Apple want you to follow, right? So we discussed, you know, the foundation. We discussed, you know, the background of the money that's being left on the table. So you really need to be discovered in order to be called, right? So in order for someone to get to that map, you know, result, you need to be discovered. But discovery isn't enough, right? You need to be well positioned in their mind, right? You're no different than anyone else. So 
until you show them you are, patients have many choices. And this is going to show you the sample blueprint of a funnel that converts 60 or more patient qualification forms across 70 different markets across the globe. And the idea is, is we're going to show you how that also ties into making sure that you're extending the same spend in order to get those calls that come in directly from maps because you're, you're, you're basically you're pre-framing them. Now, remember, a funnel is just a term for a qualified sales process. Um, the person who invented the wheel needed a qualified funnel in order to sell his wheel to those who needed it. While they laughed at him for having a wheel, right? He needed target prospects who had pain. Anyone thinks that they don't exist or just, you know, work, has never sold anything before, and you are looking at increasing your revenue and your hourly chair revenue. So you need to figure out what your process is in order to get that person from discovery to deposit, right? So this is the blueprint. And, you know, again, don't let all these arrows, um, you know, confuse you or make it look. It's, it's, this is a, a simple step process. And this is about one-tenth of you know, a regular funnel, um, an automated funnel, but this is, these are the general steps of what the patient is taking. And so number one, what we're doing is step one, we are educating, right? We're going through, um, major news publications, YouTube TV, you know, and we're targeting 55 plus year olds, um, in those publications. So if we look at, um, you know, step one, it's about getting people to, realize who you are and take an action and further research you. So what happens when you stop selling, right? Stop pitching the amount of, you know, money it costs them or so on, or how, you know, how, how you know, wait, free whitening kits and all this. And you stop selling them that and start ed educating them and position yourself as an authority. Well, you get patients applying and this is just, uh, you know, an export from, a tool that gathers all the leads that apply over a period. And this is, you know, from November 3rd to say December 7th. And the amount of people that just with this particular start of the phone number that applied and asked for a consultation. And they're all people that are looking for an implant or cosmetic related consultation. So that's in step one in, you know, after you, they found you, what they've done here is in, in to take this actual step, all right, is they have, we've given them only one option, right? To fill out their name and email after they've discovered, they've, they've landed on our page, they've discovered who we are. We're not giving them all sorts of information. We're, let, we're, we're, we're funneling them to only make one decision or learn more about us, all right? And this is the result. So step two is positioning yourself as the authority, having a landing page with one option only, having a guide or a video or some sort of way to position yourself and make yourself look um, like you took the time to put something together for your patient that shows them the options of a procedure that's already making them anxious, right? So that's this step, okay? So step two is making sure that you provide them with an option and yourself with an option to capture that traffic that you paid for, all right? Now, step three, which is this step here, is the emotional qualification, all right? So this is where you capture the actual qualification form, okay? So you're not only capturing their email and phone number, but you're actually capturing answers to questions, right? Why would they choose you? How is this impacting their daily life? And what dental problems they're experiencing, right? And so in this case, as the GM of a medium-sized company, it makes him quite careful of how he smiles and laughs in front of clients, right? And he's looking for a detail-oriented dentist, and he's telling you what's missing, um, and he's getting them in the next 90 days. So he didn't know who you were 15 minutes ago. And now he does, and he filled this out, and he's expecting a call back, and he's expecting you to book him in, and hopefully you can help him, right? And so that's step three. However, right, patients are applying, and what about the others that wanted to research you, right? Now they know you exist. And sort of how does some of, you know, the map stuff kind of tie into this, right? Well... If we look at the amount of people, and we're going to be looking at, at that in a minute, 
um, that are researching and want that help, all right, and you're out there, and so say, you know, you appear over 1.6 million times and cross targeted publications and, and so on, um, and more people see who you are in Google and research you, and then they click to call you, right, then what's going to happen is you're going to drive more local patients that want to buy your service, right? I mean, it's all, it's just simple. So if you look at the Google ad industry benchmarks, and this is, this was done by Instapage. So again, search versus display ads. If you, you know, search it up, um, they're talking about what the average conversion rate is. Okay. On an advertising campaign, so we talked about step one just now, so this is the targeted ad campaign, across all industries is 4.4 on the search network, so that's the ads that appear in text above the maps, and the display network, which is everywhere else across all apps, you know, YouTube TV, um, you know, uh, anything, if you're reading a major news publication article and you see, you know, an image or a video, um, then that's that's a display network, right? So anything on the display network um, is, you know, in that, that, you know, and if we look at here in health, it's 0.75%, right? So um, there's a lot of inventory, so your ad can appear a lot more times than in search. And we feel it's more of a valuable spend of your money because you're being proactive as opposed to the reactive, and it costs a lot more in search, quite frankly. So let's look at the numbers that increase your hourly chair revenue. Let's look at the case study. Let's look at the, the folks now that we've kind of set the foundation. Let's look at the folks um, that run this, all right? So we're going to look at Greg and uh, and and. We're going to be looking at Greg and Jonathan, and as I mentioned to you earlier, they are both partnered, um, the denturist and dentist who do a lot of full arch and implant work together. Okay, so let's look at the numbers. Now, we saw earlier that's a 0.75% conversion rate. Um, you know, generally in search, you know, uh, we all know that that text advertising can cost anywhere from, you know, $4 to $20 if you've ever advertised before. Um, so for, in, 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 you know, Niagara's case, you know, they spent 1500, they had a conversion rate of about, you know, 2%, 2.1, you know, so they smashed the average industry conversion rate and an average cost per click of 81 cents, which is a fraction of search advertising. Um, and they've appeared a lot of times in their local market and they also drive a lot of calls into the practice. And we're going to look at that in a second. If you also look at, you know, say, um, the, the amount of money they're spending to be in front of as many eyeballs as they are and get the conversion rate that they do and the applications that they do, very powerful, okay? So, Markham Dental. Um, Claudia, extremely smart entrepreneur, uh, very well done what she's done with her practice. She employs multiple surgeons. Um, they run a very busy, busy practice in Markham, and her implants um, are a good measure of what her hourly chair revenue goals are all right and so when she looks at you know her advertising on a monthly basis right her conversion rate is over four percent so she actually again smashes the industry average conversion rate um so 96 conversions on this particular campaign an average cost per click of 70 cents and appeared over 1.2 million times okay markham's got a higher population um and this was just in november right 2022 as you can see here and she had 96 people that took an action. She gave them the ability to take an action. As we looked earlier at that form and that email and phone number, 96 people put their name, email, and phone number and put their hand up and said, I'd like, to, I'd like a consultation, right? That, those are her numbers. So over that month across the two campaigns, she got 113 applications at an average of, you know, 2%. two percent. Now, this one campaign that we like, to, we like to run different campaigns and test different campaigns, um, this didn't perform as well. Right, so it drove the average down. So obviously this campaign won't keep running. So if we look at, you know, the numbers, they add up to number one, making sure that you're positioning yourself as an authority, and people are actually taking action. All right. So we're gonna look at Seven Day Dental um, in our second example. Right, Dr. Chuck Lee, brilliant individual, owns four practices, spends a ton on advertising. Um, and making himself known and understood by his practice and his patients, right? And so this this is just an example of, you know, one month of what he generally will spend um, or less, you know, in some cases it varies by 1500 or so. 
Um, and in his case, he had 235 people that took an action. He actually smashes industry averages because he has been doing it for so long. He understands his practice in an extremely competitive area. Um, they're surrounded by a massive population and you know they get the volume to boot. Now, there's a practice that's only 35 minutes away in traffic from him that gets 30 calls per month. And we'll show you that in a minute. All right. If you look at these conversion rates that he has, as we, you know, 18%, 15%, 11%, right? People love what he's doing and he's getting it for, you know, for a fraction of what people are spending in that market for a cost per click as well as ad budget. Okay. Uh, Lakeside Family Donald, um, Dr. Michael Cohen, uh, absolutely love him. He's uh, just a gem of a human being and runs a very busy practice in Burlington. Um, and, you know, if we look at his campaigns, right, same thing, you know, September 1st to 30th, 2022, you know, we've got 1,500 in ad spend, 92 people took an action, 3% conversion rate, right? They like him. They like seeing, you know, the, you know, the, the foundation. Um, but what happens is, is they've, what they do is they research the different points that we put in online to make sure that he's, posi he's positioned as that authority, right? And this is the outcome. These are the people that will apply, and these are the people that will apply, you know, as you can see, on a daily basis. On the 5th, you know, there was three people that applied. You know, on December 2nd, there was a few people that applied, right? December 5th, right? So this is just a small snapshot that I took and screenshot of, you know, of these patients that applied. Um, and we actually sorted by the same, you know, um, start of the phone number. And, uh, you know, just because we needed to see where they were coming from and so on, right? And the outcome was them filling out this form, right, in the third step. So this is step one, and this is step two, as we talked about earlier, right? And so they're answering emotional questions they wouldn't give you on a keyboard, uh, you know, in your office, right? Or they wouldn't give you on a clipboard, sorry, in your office, right? Um, you know, this person here, partial denture, you know, never gotten used to it, slight lisp when talking, um, you know, and they were from Niagara Falls and, you know, they, they ended up getting a full arch, right? If you look at, you know, this person here who was in the hospital for a week and now they're looking at getting, um, you know, the teeth taken care of as per the doctor's request. You would not get these people if you were not in front of them to begin with, right? So how does everything tie together? Well, step four is you need to convert those that didn't take an action. Because as we saw earlier in the advertising spend, if 2,300 people are landing on your page and only say 100 or 150 are taking action, what happens to the other 2,200 people, 2,300 people? Well, they're going to research you through Google Maps, Bing Maps, Apple Maps, right? You're going to keep in touch with them via email or different mediums. The secret to Maps is attracting a call from a potential patient who has purpose. Really important, right? Did you educate them? Position yourself as an authority by answering their FAQs, right? And their questions before they met you. What did you do prior to them even finding you in the first place? Because if you're just there amongst a sea of other people, as we looked at earlier, you are no different than anyone else, right? So your hard-earned reviews need to be pre-framed before being discovered, and you need to establish an authority to make a difference in their life. And what does that look like? We'll take a quick look at a few different practices, you know, like Niagara, okay? So if we look at Niagara, 163 phone calls in October, right? 10,000 views in Google because they do it right. They actually, are they're organic. They appear everywhere in maps because they've optimized maps properly. Their, their maps appears in more searches than not. And they also get leak traffic from the Jonathan, you know, Varoche and the denture campaigns that we do that also drive phone calls for implants and arches, right? So when we look at the direction requests versus the phone calls, um, we want to make sure that obviously people are searching you and there's more phone calls and direction requests, right? If you look at October 2022, right, he stays pretty steady. He's at 146 phone calls, you know, 99 direction requests there. Um, he stays pretty steady per month, right? Um, if you look at Markham, okay, same thing. She's number one in maps and she varies across different, you know, results in maps and organic. Um, but that drives a ton of calls in for her. Seven day dental. This is a really important example, right? So this is on the other end of the spectrum. Now you're spending a lot of money in advertising. So you need to expect that you're getting obviously a lot of phone calls into your practice. Well, 
Seven Day Dental is in a highly populated area. And so if you can see here, right, their, their views in Google are much higher than, say, somewhere in Toronto. So 17,000 versus, say, 7,000. Um, you know, they get about a half a million ad impressions or more per month, depending on the campaign. This is one campaign that we're tracking with this. Um, but 777 phone calls, right? They had 494 ad conversions that month, as we saw earlier in that screenshot. Um, and, you know, actually, that was about 500 plus ad conversions in that month, um, 404 direction requests and more phone calls, right? People know who they are and they're taking an action. This is a practice in Irvine who isn't too far away from them. And this was in October, say 2021, 35 phone calls. They're, they're 30 minutes away and the population is not that much different, right? 35 phone calls, 35. This is in October, 2021 for seven day. 714 with 226 ad conversions, so 226 people put their hand up and said, I would like some sort of consultation or I have a problem. Um, and they had 411 direction requests and 714 phone calls with 16,000 views in Google. Like, that's not a mistake, right? But he certainly didn't get that for free. Now, this is somebody who isn't really doing anything and just expecting the calls to come in and they're not, right? They have 35 phone calls in that month. So it shows you the difference, right? In November, and this is just in this example here, November 2022, it didn't change much. They had 48 phone calls. It's a fraction of what seven day dental gets and they're not much further away, right? If you just look, they're 36 minutes away in traffic, right? So that's really important. So if we're looking at more local examples, like say, you know, the example we looked at with um, Dr. Dr. Cohen uh, in Burlington, right? Well, there's lots of folks in Burlington and, you know, they, they appear amongst the top in maps that are properly optimized in maps. You know, they appear, um, you know, they have everything's there, right? They've got their, their uh, you know, products and services broken out. Um, everybody has written, you know, very good reviews. They have descriptions, um, stuff, you know, is posted properly. So everything is there for patients to know that they're active in Google to give them those results. That's why this, the optimization is done for a click to call. Now we noticed they had, you know, 260 phone calls, right? That month. Well, look, the 246 phone calls in September. Okay. 143 phone calls is what they had in December, 2019 before they were really doing anything. Right. So if you look at, you know, zero ad impressions and, you know, and also sort of an organic approach, um, again, you're still going to get views in Google and you're still going to get calls. But what's the difference between December 2019 and September, say, 2022? There's 246 phone calls in that one month. If we look at December 2019 and December 2020, 258 phone calls the following year, more advertising more authority going to those results. If you're looking at December, 2021, 210 phone calls. So, you know, about 60 more, um, 70 more than they would have gotten organically. Right. So there's more phone calls coming in when you're pre-framed and people see who you are, right? December, 2022, over 300 phone calls, half a million ad impressions, 7,000 views in Google, right? In November, 2019, as you notice, everything stays steady at about 150 phone calls per month. So 2019, as opposed to say 2022, when you're at zero versus doing stuff consistently, you're on average raising your phone call volume by about 60 or 70 phone calls in this case, right? So, you know, generally that's if you can, if you can raise your phone calls by 50 or 60% um, from folks that are coming and researching you, right? And in this case, before they were doing anything, there was actually more direction requests than phone calls. So if you look again at November 2019 and December 2019, we know what those phone calls are. are and you look at December 2022, 319. Um, you know, and you look at November 2022, 275. So we're always in that 275 range from say 150. So in this case, they actually went up over 100, right? So they increased their phone calls that month by over 70 or 80 percent. So again, the impressions. And the amount of views in Google matter, right? Especially depending on the time of year and when people are looking to solve their problems, right? That month they had 32 people apply. They had 1.6 million, you know, uh, ad impressions, 8,200 views in Google and 275 phone calls, 
That's in one month. That's in November 2022. Okay. So those types of the numbers and those types of that type of data is what you look for when you need, you know, when you understand what that common sense, right? New calls equals new revenue. And you need to be educating people in front of them for them to understand that that's what they should be looking for, right? Is they should be looking for somebody that can educate them and help solve their problem, right? If you create a consistent action, there should be a predictable, predictable reaction by a good portion of your patients, right? Your emotional moment of decision helps you increase revenue. So educate reputation, show empathy, and prove competency, not only in your advertising and the blueprint that we looked at earlier, but in the zero click search option as well, right? You need to guide your patient. You need to guide your patient and do these things, right? Guide your patients by design to trigger that emotion. If they fill out a form, um, or they decide to call you, you're giving them an empathetic way to get in touch with you, right? Your volume and content of reviews matter, um, especially when they're at that zero moment of decision. And ask for help if you need it, really. You know, okay? So th that's the most important part is you want help with this and you want to learn more. Be the practice that gets those calls and applications daily. You can call us. You can fill out the strategy session. Try to do it yourself as well, and and follow the videos that we have um, laid out in you know in in the back end um, where all the videos are stored, and you know and we we always you know try to teach as much as we can about having you set this up yourself and do it yourself. Um, but if you need help with this, uh, be the practice that gets these calls right, and have someone do it all for you, and you don't do a thing. So you know, go to that smilingdentist.com forward slash strategy session and fill out the strategy session. It takes about 30 minutes of your time and um, you can see if this is right for you. So take action, do the right thing for your patients. <laughs>